Hi, Matt B here and welcome to M2M, the channel that burns the nonsense. And welcome to this new series simply called Moon Hoax, where I debunk the most common Moonland hoax theories, both old and new, from the era of Apollo from 1969 to 1972. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like the video, then please hit the thumbs up. But the best thing for you to do if you comment below in each video, let me know how I'm getting on. And if there's any moon hoax theories that you'd like me to add, then let me know in the comments below and I'll look at adding it. So anyway, let's get on with the video and roll the credits. Number six, no blast crater under the lunar lander. So the theory is there is no blast crater under the lunar modules on the moon, which conspirators think is more strong at evidence that it was faked. I'm going to say LEM quite a lot in this video. For those of you who don't know what LEM is, it's short for LM or lunar module. Now there are two engines on the LEM, the ascent and the descent engines. The descent engine on the LEM was responsible for getting it on the lunar surface. It was the bigger of the two and had a maximum thrust of around about 10,200 pounds. And this engine was throttled, so it can change the throttle right down to as little as a couple of thousand pounds of thrust if needed. When you take the maximum thrust of an F-16 engine, it is in and around 27 to 30,000 pounds. It just goes to show, well, comparatively speaking, of course, the ascent engine on the LEM really isn't that big or that powerful especially when you look at the average layman looks at rocket engines and imagines the huge plumes of exhaust and fire and smoke from the rockets like the mighty Saturn V. The ascent engine on the LEM only needed to do one job and that was to get a 15,000 kilo spacecraft on a low gravity lunar surface. Now the process of landing on the moon involved the LEM detaching from the command module and then going through a several burns of varying throttle to slow its orbit and to slow it down enough for that soft landing on the lunar surface. But just before landing though, the ascent engine was throttled right down to about 3,000 pounds of thrust, so roughly 30% of throttle. Not only that, the moon has one-sixth the gravity of Earth, so that 3,000 pounds of thrust coming out of that engine just before the moment of landing would produce much less pressure on the lunar surface than here on Earth. Secondly, the moon has virtually zero atmosphere, so the exhaust of the engine will spread out and dissipate away from the area directly under the engine in a wide area instead of a much more concentrated area as you would see from a rocket engine at sea level here on Earth. You can see a good demonstration of that with this clip of a rocket high in the atmosphere where there's much less atmospheric pressure, allowing the exhaust to spread out wider than what it was at low altitude right this after liftoff. From the top of uh, Falcon 9 looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage. So that dissipation of thrust on the lunar surface from the ascent engine is enough to blow lunar dust away from the LEM but clearly not enough to create a blast crater or even getting any significant amount of dust on the landing pads. So there it is, done. Yet another stupid theory burned to a crisp. <laughs> 